wonderful people. The other day I got a strange package in my mail. Inside was a map. A map that goes to Dr. Acid's secret lab. This is a rather confusing looking map but there's a road there and there's an abandoned mental hospital there. It's supposed to be in the basement. There's supposed to be a secret lab. Doors open! Doors closed, doors closed. All the entrances are locked here. I've tried every single one of them. How am I supposed to get into the basement? Well, I don't see the entrance into the basement, right there! Okay, I think I'm in the lab. This is Dr. Acid's lab. B4000 right here. The Nightmare Machine! Well, I guess it's off. He's not doing so good right now. But this is where he shoots his show, his whole live stream. I think he's sleeping. He's taking a nappy nap right now. I think he's like electrically charged. Seriously, though, this stuff is really gross. I wouldn't touch any of this stuff.
Check it out. He's got an alternate dimension receiver. You can be like the Pesh Mode. Reach out and touch someone else, like an ATT commercial from the 80s. And there's a dead Furby right there next to a rat that's just hanging out. He's got to stick up his rump. This place is so freaking cool. I'm not quite sure why there are killer robot stuff up on the wall. What the heck is this nonsense? The first functional, totally harmonious society in the history of making... Anyway, I'm going to take this. Doctor had the midnight badness. Whoa! Okay, I've changed this thing. I'm getting out of here. Let's go! Well, I left my mark on Dr. Acid's midnight madness thing. See if anyone notices the badness change in there. But I think I'm gonna go back in because he's gonna come out of his electro sleep pretty soon. And I gotta be on the show. So I hope you guys watch it. If you never watched a Dr. Acid live stream before, you're in for something new and something different. It's a crazy horror horse show and I highly recommend you check it out at www.facebook.com forward slash Dr. Acid Midnight Madness. I gotta get going, I get on the show. So as I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. You guys stay groovy and have a wonderful day. We're coming, we're coming. <laughs> this is my skull collection from around the world. And very interesting. This can perceive the auras of people. And you apply it to. Oh. I don't think it's working anymore. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, yep, I can tell that all of you guys with the whole peanut gallery in the back have green auras, uh, except for you. And no pants. He tend to have a, a bit of a, a, a red tinge to your aura. Anyhow, I do collect a lot of many, many curiosities. Let's go back to the movie. I know it's getting more and more exciting. My uh, concoction's about almost finished, and I'm going to test it out. So, we can't wait. B4000, let's take us to the next scene. All right, let's do it in three, two, one. It's playing. They're coming! Tried to kill me twice in the last five minutes. Brooke came ashore last night. 
he's dead. That's all was left. Won't do us any good. It's got no ammo. I'm deeply sorry, Captain. I wish I'd followed your orders. Look, Doctor, you casually mentioned animals. You didn't explain to us what we were facing out there. Have every right to feel the way you do. My mistake was only mine, it was one of judgment. I didn't know about the hurricane. I didn't anticipate the effect it would have on the shrews. I thought the house would be safe through the crisis. How, how could you expose your own daughter? How could you expose Anne to that? <laughs> she was going to leave last week, but the boat didn't come. Here's a drink. Anybody else care for one? I could use some coffee. I'll make some. I'll Thank you, my dear. Creamy sugar. Oh, my leg. Oh, my leg. Slam the door! You all right, Doctor? He just ripped my trousers, that's all. Are you sure that's all? I'd be I'm completely aware of it, Doctor. A stupid waste of ammunition. Every one of them a clean mess. There's still four of them in there. How did they get in? Through that kitchen window. That rope must be rotten. <laughs> it got him! Bradford! <laughs> He's dead. Oh, no! You recorded every symptom and reaction right up to the moment of his death. Jerry, turn down one of those drapes and cover him up. <laughs> sure, sure. Craig is I'll cover Anne, and I'll cover him. You'll cover me, but who'll cover you? Shut up! We can get on that man, old Swayford. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> now you stop sniffling and think. <laughs> It'll take a tank to get us out of here. <laughs> to dig around this? You're right. No telling where else they're digging, too.
Now we're going to vote the presence of a poltergeist. I've used three methods in the past, and each have yielded great results. One of them is the invocation of Bloody Mary. The second one is reading aloud some verses from the Necronomicon and the Cthulhu Lexicon. And three, using a Ouija board to invite the presence of a spirit into your house. So I asked Midjourney to create me 25 professional headshots of famous horror movie villains. Can you name them before the reveal? Today, poison. About a week ago, and unfortunately, somebody drank it. I think it was Tom Murphy. I don't think it was Tom Murphy. Actually, I do know who it is, but I'm refraining from who it is, just to protect their identity. But it's coming together quite nicely. I actually, I get sent movies all the time. And I did get sent some movies here. Do you anything? Somebody sent me Mark for Death. That's a good one. With Steven Seagal. Dirty Dancing Bullet. It says on the back, I have actually haven't seen any of these. They've attacked his family. They've killed his partner. Now Steven Seagal is um... Mark for Death. That might be a good one. Let's see what this one is. Gentle? Is it gentle? It's called The Island. Oh, it's one from one of my favorite places, Hollywood Video. Oh, here we go. For 300 years, a secret has been kept from the outside world, the island. 
That's a terrible premise. I also got <laughs> Vampires. The John Carpenter film. Is that a piece of crap with that old guy is the lead? I think so. It says they roamed the earth for 600 years and they're thirsty. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. It's a new release. All right. I also got, and these are all donated uh, by my friends Friday Foster, Pam Greer, Yafet Kato. This one says, Pam Greer in one of her most winning performances. Oh, all this stuff I can't repeat, except for the end. Thank God it's Friday. And last but not least, I got Blue Velvet, the most talked about film of the decade. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. This one says, as fascinating. Can you watch one of those instead, please? We gotta finish the movie. We started it, we gotta finish. As fascinating as it is freakish, no mistaking, it's one of a kind. All right, these are some great movies. Thank you for sending them. Will they be seen dirty dancing? <laughs> this Jewish girl goes up to this dance camp and meets this guy, gorgeous. Oh, and she dances with him and she gets pregnant. And that sounds sitting in the portion. Sounds like a horror film. And then they went to be a Wow. But the movie looks really, really good. I don't think we'll be watching that anytime soon, but we will be getting Funny. to the last scene, <laughs> scenes of the Killer Shrews. Let's go to that now, and when we get back, we'll we'll test out this concoction. <laughs> yes, we use these chemical drums as as tanks, <coughs> individual tanks. Here, I'll show you. All right. Stand down here. Yeah. Look down now, all right? Slow. All right. Yeah. Hold it here and make some pieces. Get out some. Some tools are going to land in the store. All right. Hey, here's another one. Good. Now hey, get that out. Now. 
Is it really over? No, I believe there's one last thing. You promise? Next. It's the most horrifying part of the film. Alright. Who are you trying to root me? I think that'll work. I think that is the correct antidote. Yeah. All right. The last part of the scene is the most horrific. This is where nightmares are made. You can make it to the end of the movie. And we're one of the bravest that I've encountered. 
I don't know if you're ready for this. Uh, the guy in the back. Like, I don't know who you guys are. Just to let you know. I should have let the door open for five minutes too long. I should have lost it next time. Um, but, take a look at the next scene. I can't wait. Let's do it, Dr. Madison. We are safe, aren't we? I mean, the storm. Oh, sure. She wrote out the first half all right, and that's always the roughest. Anyway, riding an anchor, I'll get a chance to learn a little more about that Swedish accent. 
In 24 hours, there'll be one shrew left on the island, and he'll be dead of starvation. An excellent example of overpopulation. Well, you know something, Doctor? What's that? I'm not going to worry about overpopulation just yet. <laughs> Wow. That was amazing. That was completely. That was. Trump. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did good. I can't believe that I watched that movie again. It was amazing. That was very scary. You're asleep. Jack and Apes, are you still here? Have you ever got some bad news? <laughs> what? One of the shrews down my hand. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, I'll get the real camera. Um, he's trying to get my tongue. Oh, my goodness. I'm, um... Jack and Apes, you got a condom on your eye, too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, just to be safe. Well, we'll try to fix this. Thank you for making it to the end of the movie. I know it was a really traumatizing and horrific experience. We got thumbs up from Jack and Apes. Join us next time for another terrifying tale. I even don't know what it's going to be. These things are just, they magically appear by this guy right here. I don't know who his contact is, but he finds the best movies. Yeah. Like it. Straight dancing. Thank you, Nurse Noxious. Special thanks to our B4000 supercomputer and artificial intelligence. My pleasure. And thank you for sticking with us, and we'll see you next to from now. Adios. See ya. Alright, let's clear this up.